Okay, just ordered and uh, got this in. Uh, it's a smart uh, light switch, uh, Wi-Fi enabled. I'm gonna try and put it in my living room. It does require a neutral wire to be at the light switch location, which I think I have in my living room, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see when I get the light switch out. But it comes in a pretty nice box, all shrink wrapped here. And let's see what we got here. Oh, come on, baby. Got a pretty giant light switch plate. But I imagine that that can just be popped off and uh, it's just a standard decora. Doesn't snap. So it's just a push on, push off kind of thing. And there's that neutral wire that I'm gonna need. Uh, live load and ground. So hot comes in, kind of interesting, it's not marked. We'll get her figured out. There's two little switches here too. And I still haven't quite figured out how this plate pops off. Which it must pop off. There, it just pops off. Uh, one thing I don't have is I don't have a decor plate for my uh, living room, but I'll get one of those. Comes with four wire nuts and a bunch of directions. Okay, the problem with turning the circuit breaker off is now there's no light in the house. So I have a little temporary light bulb set up, but it's not very, still very bright. So this is the light switch I'm going to be changing. Um, I'll bring you in and we'll look inside of it and make sure there's a neutral in there. Um, you might find that a lot of light switches won't have a neutral in there because they're really just breaking the, uh, the hot wire that's going to the, to the light and the neutral might run somewhere else. So let's get in there and see. Cross my fingers. You look back in there, you see the white wires going into the uh, into the wire nut. Um, that that is the neutral. So white is neutral. Um, there's also a lot of black wires. I don't know if you can see, and some red traveler wires. Um, those are typically um, between a three-way switch or something of that sort. Okay, so this is the switch I'm going to be changing out. You can see there's no neutral running to it right now. There's just the hot and the and the lead going to the to the can light to my living room and a, and a ground. Uh, the neutrals are still back in there. This other switch controls my outside lights, which I'd also like to change out to one, but I have to do that when I have some more money. We'll uh, start small with just one. I'm going to go ahead and take this out so I can get to the neutrals though. And the one thing I did not, that I need to still go to the hardware store and get is a, a Decora uh, light switch plate with a regular light switch and a Decora opening. So these white wires here are the neutrals. So uh, I definitely have a neutral there. So all is well. Even though I uh, turned the breaker off and and uh, the lights are off in the living room. I still should probably uh, sniff around in here for some electrical. See if anything's live. Everything's dead in there. So, so uh, this is just a stud finder, but it's also got a um, a voltage sensor built into it. Okay, back to taking this thing apart. We 
rip the old switch out first. Bear copper is the ground, and the green is the ground on the on the new switch. Put those together with a wire nut. Next, I don't think this matters. One of these gets it says line load. It doesn't seem to matter which one's which. I thought they would have marked them bit different, but. I guess their electronics just, it's just how it works. Well, we'll do it and we'll see. And then the last wire is the neutral. We'll hook that to this pile of neutrals right here. get everything jammed back in here. Everything's a little tight in this box. There's a lot of wires in here. So of course I probably picked the worst switch in my house to do this on. The box that's the tightest. Barely gonna jam in there. One nice thing I noticed was that there is the MAC address written right there. The cover plate covers up, so if you ever have a Wi-Fi problem or whatnot, the MAC address is easily accessible. Okay, breaker's back on. This light's working again. And this one's working. Kind of neat. It's got some little LEDs in there, a little little blue circle and a little flashing yellow and green light. I'm assuming it's flashing yellow and green because I don't have the Wi-Fi uh, hooked to my Wi-Fi yet. All right. Turns out you just need a an app for your phone. You can go find it or come on, focus. There, found it. Boom, get, install. It's installed, open. Oh, I need to create an account. Successfully created account. Allow. Smart switch. Yes, I have. It's flashing green. Alright, so we gotta go to settings and connect to the Wi-Fi network on the on the phone or on the switch. Which would be TP Link Smart. 
Okay, that's done. Come back to CASA. Alright, so it's checking Wi Fi status. Connecting to your device. Let's give it a name. Alright, so it's connecting to my home network. I'm not really sure how it knew to that that was my home network. It must be something the app saw that I was on my network and then I switched to the to the other network and so that it knew to go back to that network. Um, so that's pretty smart software programming. And we're done. I can turn the lights on and off with my app now. So the next step is to get it working with Alexa. The app is pretty easy to use. Schedule is pretty self-explanatory. And then uh, Away is uh, pretty easy to use too. And then uh, there's a timer that I might use off and on. And then uh, settings is just uh, typical stuff that we already kind of went through. After a quick trip to Lowe's. Okay, now we're going to set up the light switch and the Alexa um, thing. Um, so we log into AlexaAmazon.com and you log into your account there and then we'll uh, go through there. What we're going to do is we're going to add a skill. And we just can go through here and we can search for is uh, TP-Link is the name of that. T why is that? TP Link search. There we go. TP Link Casa. Enable skill. Always allow. Yes, alright. Alexa has successfully linked with your TP Link Casa. You can now close this window and return to your other window. Discover devices. Come on, why didn't it find them? There it is. Alexa, lights off. Okay. Alexa, lights on. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm also on Patreon.